Hi everyone, okay, Guild Wars, it's back up again. Now normally, I would take on 14 as the sort of tough stage. Let's, um, let's mix it up a bit. Let's step up a gear and let's take on three. So my guy's level 28, difficulty, top difficulty is 36. I am going with this loadout. Um, as you know, I'm a huge fan of beta now. Um, let's see, tough walker, actually, scratch that, scratch that. Sorry, I normally like to have this sorted out before I start the mission. This is a last minute change. We're going for survivalist Rick and Rick. Rick is getting the, uh, hunting bow because it can reduce threat. So that's a pretty handy thing. Obviously, he deals more damage uh, the more kills he gets. Rick, we're taking because we've got some metal heads. Uh, yeah, we've got some, you know, we've got some bad guys there who, you know, our ranged characters can't deal with as easily. Let's, for what it's worth. Uh, I've got no problem with using tools when we're at this kind of a stage. So, you know, that's, that's cool. Um, let's have a little delaying action first, shall we? So, Sasha, you throw that. Good. We're quite free to just start stabbing here. I can see myself using a grenade next turn. Let's see, can we get rid of this bugger? Yes, good. We've got a... Um, got a charge point there for Sasha. Oh, should have... Should have got him there because obviously he was still distracted, but that's okay. That's a that's a classic misclick. I know you you come here for the action, you stay for the crummy rookie misclicks. Yay! <laughs> um, what do we want to do here? Let's. So we're making. I mean, we're making a lot of noise here. Not happy with this, but um, you know. It, not too much of a worry. I don't think there's any more walkers left. So that's sometimes the um, sometimes the thing that you've got to decide. I mean, you don't want to be making a ton of noise. But sometimes you just got to get those walkers out of the way. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the decision that we made. Yep, good, good. Again, both of those were silent. I don't want to be hanging around here too much. But, uh, you know, best laid plans of mice and men. All right, and there we go. That, uh, I consider this level completion to be a bit of a testimony to both patience and, let's call it expediency. You know, getting the job done. So excuse me just for one second. Sorry, first thing in the morning, cup of tea. It's got to happen. Uh, kill walkers and exit. Um, do I want to keep this set up? Yes, I do. I don't know, I, there's probably not a threat counter on this because it's a kill all walkers mission. Yes, are more walkers going to appear? Kind of doesn't look like it actually. So, good, good, good. Um, that was Sasha's superb skill sort of coming into play there. Nice. Uh... Yes. Oh, wow. Weird. What is Deja Vu? 
it just had an insane sense of deja vu, not like, oh, this mission's just like another one. Like, I, you know, that feeling when you really feel like you've done this exact thing before. That, wow, wow, such a powerful feeling. Crazy. Glad I could share that with you. <laughs> Okay, two turns. Right, you get cracking on that, Rick. I think deja vu is when, you know, a long-term memory gets accidentally shoved into the short-term recall center of the brain. I think that's a theory on it, but it's such a profound feeling. It's so strange. Uh... No, you know what? Let's just Foxtrot Oscar. Let's get out of here. Okay, a little bit of covering fire there with the old bow and arrow. Go on, one more, just for good luck. Just to just to really stick it in. Brill. Alright, stage three seems doable. Um Obviously, that's a good thing. The more difficult the level, the more points it awards. Let's hop to it. What do we got here? We got McGaggy. Oh, with a spear gun. She's got revenge. It's worth bearing that in mind. So when we give her a pop, she is going to give us a pop back. But I'm not particularly scared. What we're going to do is... Um, We're not going to chuck an A-team in here. What we're going to do... Uh, actually... No, we're perfectly alright using the flare gun. So I've, I've done it before where I've put my, my best guys in and they get wrecked. You know, and then, and then you're kind of left without the, the tools that you need really to get the job done. Where is that... Right, you've got that. Oh yeah. Sorry, this is not the most exciting part of any video, is it? Is the is the flipping between gear uh, uh, bit. But here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean Yumiko is just a great, just a great leader for survivor battles. She's just fantastic. She's definitely my go-to since getting her golded up. Um. Yeah, well, she's a close combat character and she's crippled, so she's useless. Um, you finish her off. You zombies have a feast. Simple. Simple. Again, there's that rookie uh, mentality that the survive battles are difficult. They are not. You can easily outwit the AI so don't ever go thinking that survivor battles are a challenge they they really are not all right okay island three we can do it great really happy with that as ever thank you for watching